What will happen to the reading on the force meter when I move the weight down and then stop it again? Did you correctly predict that it would go down, up and then back to where it was at the beginning? Let's explain what was going on. So at the beginning, the tension balanced the weight, the resultant force was zero and it stayed stationary. But then, as I move my hand down, the tension becomes less than the weight, so the resultant force is down and it accelerates. But then, almost immediately, to make it slow down, the tension becomes larger than the weight, which makes the resultant force up and it decelerates to a stop. And then, to hold it stationary at the bottom, once again, the tension balances the weight, so the resultant force is zero, and so the reading goes back to the original two newtons. This is a nice practical to do if you've got a mobile phone that will do the slow-mo recording of the force meter reading as you move it. You can, of course, do a very similar thing moving the weight up.